guys, how you doing? Yes, I'm here again to be a nuisance in your airspace. You have no choice. Big my hair, sexy, sassy, always. And the big my experience, and you know how we do. <laughs> On today's show, <laughs> I have a, a guest that is into extreme sports. Um, he can literally sweep you off his feet and would hopefully be my new best friend in protection ship. When we come back, I'll let you know who that is. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back, guys. Uh, today in the house, I have someone with me. He's called Olu Strong. When you see him in a second, you'll know why. Guys, say hi to Olu Strong. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> So, I'm so excited. I have never had a real life bodyguard in my ass. Wait, wait, okay, he's not a bodyguard. Please, can you tell us your real name and uh, my, what you do? Uh, my name is Fadishi Rewatofin. I'm a strength athlete. He's a strong man. He actually is the strongest man, uh, strongest man in Nigeria yeah. and the third strongest in Africa. No, I, I'm not the third strongest, but I'm amongst the strongest. Then. But you are, Amongst the strongest you, are, guys. you are one of the strongest yeah. guys in Africa. Yeah. I mean, Lord have mercy. Why this extreme sport? Because, I mean, most people grow up going like, I want to be a footballer. Oh no, I want to be a boxing somebody. But you decided you wanted to be carrying heavy things, pulling. <laughs> Were you like, why? Uh, I fell in love with the sport, though I, <clears throat> I have a background in martial art at first. So while I was doing you know, the martial arts, I was, I, was, I was doing judo. Then beside my judo gym. Sorry, which one is judo? You know, the one you grip and smash people on the floor. That's done in the Olympics. You know. Protectorship. <laughs> Trust me. So, you know, aside, beside my gym where I do my judo, there's a powerlifting gym there. So after my, power, after my judo session ends around 10 a.m. then, so I'll just go around and check on the guys that you know, lift weights and all that. So I got called upon by a certain guy called Mr. Mike and he said I should come try it out. So I... So you're doing this willingly? Like you wake up in the morning and you're like, I want to carry heavy things. Yeah, I, it's, it's what I live for. It brings joy to you. I derive so much joy. Do you have siblings? Like... Yeah, I do. It's two sisters. And... Do you normally use them as weights? No, I protect them. Huh? Ha! <laughs> I, uh, I need your details. I need protection <laughs> details because you know my mouth is too big and I sell a lot of things. I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> they know I'm in trouble. So <laughs> what's in the way? Um, but have you ever used your strength to bully anyone? Like you know you're strong. You know you can beat someone up, yeah. and they use it to your advantage just for fun. Actually, there's a misconception about you know guys like us. You know, we we use our aggression only on weights. Uh, we don't. We tend to be. You know, all the aggression is done in the gym, you know, because normally, you know, we are intimidating and all that. So you yes. tend to be, you know, you put on a smile on your face to be approachable. So you don't want anybody to see you and run off. But what if I decide that, okay, I'm, I want to look for trouble. Can I just call you and go like, ah, Olu, I beg, I just saw one guy and I beg to come. I'll tell you to, you know. Be cool. Man. Be cool. Hey, you've not met me. You're not meeting me. I don't know me not be cool, though. right, guys? Am I? Yeah, I'm not. I, there's no cool in my body. Um, I know that you have a very rigorous. Um, can someone shut my director up? I know you have a very rigorous <laughs> exercise routine, yeah. and um, I know that you also have to eat a lot yeah. to then build. What is the largest amount you've eaten at one sitting? Uh, about the. About 500 grams of steak, that's beef, and right? uh, with, uh, let's say, like 300 grams of mashed potatoes. Okay, in in um, late, late month terms, like people like me that didn't uh, pass math and have no clue what 500 grams, grams means, like, you know, when you have a kilo, half of a kilo of meat, then... So Can you all see how I'm calculating? <laughs> <laughs> that's like a lot of meat. Yes. Basically, I couldn't decide. Uh, no. All this within how many minutes? Like, uh, I like I like my food fresh and hot. So while after eating, my plate is still hot. It's still hot. Yeah. We can't go to dinner together. What's uh, that? I stay at ah. home. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to. And it's like next plate, please. <laughs> yeah, because I have to eat two to three times. 
I mean, two in the two to three hours interval a day. So I space my food within two and a half hours to three hours. Uh, yeah. Anytime I'm broke, I don't have food anymore. I'm, I'm just I'm like, I know you're gonna have spare food in the house. <laughs> 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 But, uh, okay, I was watching your um, lifting videos. Yeah. My God. As I'm so lazy, I can barely even lift this iPad. He was lifting some things. I'm like, what's the heaviest you've lifted? Uh, recently, I I picked up uh, 430 kilograms of weight on my shoulder and I walked. Uh, I put, I, you know, it's just like, let me give you a scenario. You know all this mile of that carrying mm. water on their shoulder? Yeah. So the weight was built like that. Okay, so, so you put it across your... So you put it across the shoulder. The whole weight in the entire thing weighs like 430. In so like you equivalent to, to what? Like a, like a mini plane or like a... No, you know, yes. You know, no, like, I, no, I mean like, I know the size. What I'm saying is for us to imagine... Uh, let's say like, that's like close to... like close to eight and a half bags of cement. So I have to walk like 15 meters with it. At least you know that, you know, there's a fallback plan. <laughs> no, this, you, if you're ready to retire, you can just you know what? I can do like manual labor once in a while. You need this done, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering. And I've pulled the I pulled like the, a ten ton truck also. You know, this big trucks. Ah, if your car is ever in a ditch and you can't get AAA because you don't have it in Nigeria, and it's like 3 a.m. He can get it out. <laughs> I assure you, he can get it out. <laughs> but with this lifestyle you have, you know, this whole, you know, you exercise often. I'm sure you exercise practically every day. Yeah. Most hours of the day, you, you know, you're doing your whole diet in you know, and whatnot. Does this interfere like in your personal life? Uh, it's, uh, for me, it's my way. It's a way of life for me. I don't struggle to live it. So it, it gives you time to do other things, like, yeah, you know, can, dates, being yeah, in a relationship. No one, because I am on a budget. I mean, when I wake up in the morning, like my three days, like okay, today is uh, today is Thursday. I know what I'm doing on Saturday. Ah, so okay. I, I I schedule myself so tight and. And I know you're in a relationship, right? <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, ladies. But look strong is taking. That's a strong woman. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that is all I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, okay, yes, you're the strongest man in Nigeria. What is your number one weakness? Uh, one of my mantra is no weakness. Nothing uh, at all. No I mean, even Superman has kryptonite, right? Uh, uh, Superman is a myth. I'm real. Ah. <laughs> but we all have. Uh, really? Uh, but you, you don't, you don't tell people your weakness. So you say no weakness. Okay, so that they know it's the gangster. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I get you, I get you. <laughs> well, uh, what hidden talent do you have that nobody else knows about? Something you do besides uh, being strong. Uh, I, uh, I love talking and encouraging people. So you're like, 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 like a spokesperson, like an inspirational. Uh, when I, when I get in the mood to, when I have a reason to talk. Oh. And I, I do talk to people, and young ones and all that. And that's cool. I actually didn't expect that, but that's cool. And he said, I mean, they would actually listen, they don't have a choice. <laughs> Go to school. Sure, yeah, yeah, sure, definitely. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's still the big my experience. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back. I've still got Olu Strong here, and we're going to go into the part you know I enjoy. So don't go nowhere. back it is still big man on the big my experience and i've still got olu strong <laughs> and we're about to go into my have you ever and would you rather i'm sure you've heard a little about that right so place your hand on the on the tab and say i your name I, olu. okay i solemnly swear I solemnly swear to say the truth to say the truth the whole truth, the whole truth. and nothing but the freaking truth nothing but the freaking truth did you hear that laugh? <laughs> I get so excited when it gets to Okay, so I'm going to ask you five of you ever questions. And one would you rather question. Now, have you ever shoplifted? No. Really? What's even chewing gum? Chocolate? Hey, good boy. I mean, I'm, I can tell you some of us here are shoplifted. <laughs> Not naming names. <laughs> 
Okay, number two. Have you ever burped while you were kissing someone? Uh, nope. Like you guys are making a. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, have you ever had a crush on a friend's mom? Happy birthday to you. Yo, yo, yo. Happy birthday, Olu Strong. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> he never expired. Yes, it's his birthday. And, uh, that's a strong woman. Now, can you get out, my friend? Wow, thanks. She's everywhere. All right, back to the question. <laughs> Number three. Have you ever had a crush on your friend's mom? Friend? No. You never had that, you know, Mrs. Robinson type stuff? No. It's okay. Don't you see? <laughs> uh, I'm not saying, bro. No. Okay, but. <laughs> okay. Number four. Have you ever had a one night stand? One night stand? Uh, people that know me, I don't go for them. I'm, I'm, I'm always focused yeah, on my training. Yeah, but I, just, I mean, you could just be out working and from the gym, so you're rubbing up on you. And... After the gym, the next thing is food and sleep. Like, I'm nothing else to say. Number five. Yeah. Have you ever peed and have the splash back into your mouth? Oh. Like you pee and you know that one just go, just ricochets back like into yours. Yeah. It happens, right? Thank you, I knew that happened. I mean, I don't have like a man who's good or whatever they call that thing down there, but I know it happens. Yeah, right. Okay, now would you rather, <laughs> would you rather smell like eggs when you burp or have a green cloud appear when you fart? And you have to choose one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll choose the second one, man. Eggs. Egg, the eggs is the first one. Yeah, no. You'd rather smell like eggs? Uh, or you'd rather have a green cloud appear when you fart? So every time you fart, everybody knows he does fart. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, because I hate a lot of protein, so. I'm <laughs> You'd rather just. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for being such a good sport. So I know that you have something coming up. Soon, yeah, uh, I'm, uh, the competition. Yeah, I'm uh, the hey you want powerlifting and weightlifting championship in Las Vegas. Then I have the African Strongest one also coming okay. so September, October. So. Wow, so that's there's a, a lot of training going. Yeah, I have to train today, but I have to you know, <laughs> make time and train last night so I can make it. Oh, I feel so. You know, there's a part of me that wanted you to use me as training. That just just use me to do what, what they call those things. I've never been to a gym. I don't know what one looks like. You can tell, right? I know. <laughs> but we do wish you good luck, you Thank know, you in so the much, yeah. competition. Um, how can we follow your, you know, stuff like maybe uh, your social media? Yeah, I know you have a YouTube page. You know. yeah, my Instagram uh, handle is uh, only water for me. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Then, uh, my Facebook is only water for me. Okay. So my Twitter is brand underscore Olu. Brand underscore Olu. Oh, no problem. And then your YouTube page yeah. for your videos. Is, you want to go see him lift? Yeah. My YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel. I don't know any of them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google him. Yeah. Because I, I know for a fact that you know he's all over the internet. Google him. He's the strongest man in Nigeria. Thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank and thank you. you guys so much for tuning in. This was actually so much fun for me. I had a good boy, sorry, good man. I can't say boy. For his one hand flick me like mosquito. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> on the show today, which is quite interesting. And of course, you know how we do. You can follow our social media handles that are right there. Big shout out to Echo More Productions. Big shout out to Olo Donation. And of course, Bear Hops Cafe, where this beautiful thing is being shot. Make sure you come here. When you're coming, give me a call. Buy me a drink. And until next week, peace out. Cut now. <laughs> Can we take cake now? No. Ah.
You have to cut it. <laughs> Can't I just take one ball? Let me just have one ball.